Hello everyone, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. This question that you see right there on the board is from the SAT math test. The students can use calculator. This uh, question belongs to the advanced math section of the test and is also in the category of a hard or difficult question. This is what we have. The function g is defined by g of x equal x times x minus the x minus 2 times x plus 6 to the second power. The value of g of 7 minus w is equal to 0, where w is a constant. What is the sum of all possible values of w? So basically, we need two important information here, and I'm going to use my highlight. First, we have the function, the function g of x that is given right here. Also, we have an evaluation of the function g of x. They want us to evaluate the function g of 7 minus w. If you know the learning set that function evaluation, what is the meaning of g of 7 minus w? g of 7 minus w is equivalent to x. Okay, it's just equivalent to x. So we are going to do that, g of 7 minus w first, g of 7 minus w, that is no more than whatever you see the x, you put 7 minus w, you know, and you have 7 minus, give me one second, you're going to put here 7 minus w times 7 minus w minus 2, second parenthesis, and the last parenthesis is 7 minus w plus 6 to the power of 2, okay? All of this, they said that is equal to 0, okay? So I can replace g of 7 minus w by 0. So I have here now 7 minus w, parenthesis, I have here 7 minus 2 is 5, so we have 5 minus w, and right here we have 7 plus 6 is equal 13 minus w to the power of 2. This is the evaluation of function. If you know the evaluation of function, just you do it. You Whatever you see the x, you put 7 minus w. 7 minus w is the domain. Because all of that is equal to 0. All of this expression here, let me use a highlighted, is equal to 0. All of them is equal to 0. Means an important thing in number sense. Means that 7 minus w can be equal 0 because the product of them is equal to 0. At least one of them is 0, so 7 minus w is equal to 0. Minus w is equal to negative 7, w is equal to 7. So I have my first value right here, possible value for w equals 7 in order to the expression to be equal to 0. Then I'm going to use a different color right here, blue. I have to do the same with 5 minus w equals to 0. I have minus w equals negative 5. And I have w equals 5 when you multiply by you multiply by negative 1 in order to get w positive. So this is the second possible value. The third possible value here, and let me use red, is 13 minus w. All of that to the second power equal to zero. So you find the square root of zero, which is zero, and the square root of this expression here, which is the inverse of squaring the expression, is just 30 minus w. Okay. And now minus w is equal negative 13 multiplied by negative 1. W is equal 13. And I have the third possible value that makes this expression equal to zero. Now, the, qua the, the question is, what is the sum of all possible values of W? I have all the possible values of W right here. Huh? One here, one here, one here. So I, I just need to add them up. Okay, let me do it right here. So I need to add 7 plus 5 plus 13. 7 plus 5 is 12. Mm-hmm. And 12 plus 13 is equal to 25. And this is the answer of this difficult question from the SAT test math section of the test. And in the category of difficult questions, advanced math. What do you think?
You can beat the test and you can increase your scores in the test. Learning sets, function notation. If you want to know more about function notations or about mathematics stuff, mathematic content, visit our channel, our playlist, and you will be enjoying mathematics for the rest of your life. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. See you in the next video. Don't forget to join Math Topics for more resources. See you.